hello and welcome back to another episode of Bella TV. I am your host Madison McHugh and today I am joined by fashion icon David. David, how are you today? I am great. I'm glad to be here. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, would you mind telling me a little, a little bit about yourself? Oh my god, a little bit. Um, well, I've probably been in the design world for probably 25 years, a long time. I'm a designer, so <laughs> um, I, you know, I grew up in the Midwest. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, you know, I started my career in New York and I lived there for eight years. And now I've been living and working in Los Angeles for about almost 30. Oh, wow. So oh. I love both, but I prefer living in Los Angeles because I hate cold weather. <laughs> I like sunshine every day. Yeah. So what sparked your interest in starting a career in the fashion industry and how did you get started? Um, well, I was always very opinionated and had a big mouth, even as a child. And I always, I don't know, I was always visually interested in things. And, you know, even in kindergarten, I remember my favorite outfit and I know my I know my mom tried to talk me out of it so many times. It was purple bell bottoms, a red, white, and blue belt, and a white with red floral <laughs> shirt. And that outfit was I didn't see the bad. bomb. <laughs> that outfit, and sometimes she'd be like, well, maybe if you, this shirt might be better. Nope, mm -hmm. it's got to be the red and white floral. Um, and they were very cool with it. Although I'm sure sometimes they just wanted to like look the other way and like, he's not mine, he's not mine. Um, so I was always interested in clothing and that kind of stuff. Um, and I think the first time I realized that someone did that for a living or it was a profession was when Sonny and Cher started their show as a midsummer replacement. Um, and I, for some reason I turned the TV on and that what was on. And I was like, oh my God, because no one had seen anything like Cher before. And, and then at the end, I don't know what made me watch. And I was, I don't know, probably seven, right? And it said, Cher's gowns by Bob Mackie. And I'm like, oh, somebody does that. Like, that's a, a thing. So I think that's what kind of really sparked or kind of got me onto it. And, you know, I really did. I started out in dresses and evening wear because that's been my background or forte, but that's really kind of what got me going. So it's oh. all due to Bob, Mackie and Cher. Right from the beginning, you were in it. I love that. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about your designs and where you draw inspiration from? Um, you know, I take inspiration from, I think, at anywhere it could be what's happening in the world it could be like you travel you go to turkey or sometimes it's a beautiful print or sometimes it's fabric i think i've always tried to in my design i like there's they should be simple and beautiful and elegant but they should always also have a sense of timelessness to them i think because good design whether it was 40 years ago or 50 years ago there still should be a sense of timelessness that you could almost wear it now. Yeah. I don't like, I mean, I do, and I appreciate them like things that are very trendy and whatever, but you can look at it and go, oh, last year yeah. or oh, four years ago. So I think, and I like clothes that are, I'm a big knit jersey person, um, things that are drapey and soft on the body that are still glamorous. I tend to prefer simple things as opposed to like, you know, bells and whistles, whistles and ruffles and bows. And, you know, I got to say also, um, growing up, one of my favorite designers was Halston. Because no, I mean, his clothes were so modern and so easy. And even if you pull any of those out now and look at them, you could put them on and go. Mm -hmm. So um, I would say, yeah, and it just really, really depends. I mean, and in the world, the way the world is changing now, fashion is moving even faster and in different ways. Absolutely, yeah. So how has the pandemic affected you and your career? Well, I think um, 
you know, obviously the world of glamour and red carpets and evening wear hasn't been the highest priority on most people's lists. Um, but I also think, you know, with the new um, sportswear lifestyle um, line that I'm doing for HSN, David, David Meister, you know, I thought, because I started this about a year ago, because we worked very far in advance. And I thought, how is this going to work? Because I am not a technological person. Like I have, I'm able to do Zoom and Skype, and, but pretty much after that, I'm a little lost. And, and I'm like, because I'm so used to working with people face to face or presenting or working with buyers in a showroom or, and, you know, everything is done like this. And I got to tell you, there really hasn't been one hiccup. It works. I, I love and it. I'm, I would blown. never have to, like meet with you like this if it wasn't for the pandemic. I'm You're blown away, away. I'm blown away that like I've been doing fittings like this, and I'm like when I was first told that I'm like not gonna work, <laughs> not gonna work. This is impossible. But because a lot of people say what kind of hiccups or glitch, and I got to say everything that I have done in the past, I've been doing this way. And it works, mm -hmm. which actually has been quite interesting to me because I would I was the naysayer. That's kind I of was amazing like, that you're adjusting this well. I mean, well, there's no choice, but it's like, but I was for sure, no, nope, not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, after I do, I'm like, oh, oh. So I think, and not just in design, but so many different things the way people look at things and approach things and are going to work and interrelate going forward are definitely going to be, I think, altered forever. And I don't think necessarily in a bad way, because mm -hmm. I think for a lot of people, a mix of working from home or an office or, and I think people have learned also that, you know, I think it used to be the philosophy was you need to be at your desk by 8.30 and you can't leave before five that doesn't mean you're doing a good job of working mm -hmm. you know and i think people have realized from huge corporations and everywhere that their employees are being just as effective if not more because they are can work from home and a i think you're a little more relaxed unless you have 100 kids running around and and i also think you don't have a commute Mm -hmm. You don't have a, and I think the world at large has finally broken that preconceived notion that unless you're at your desk, you can't possibly be working and doing the job. So you can work from wherever, you can do anything from wherever. So I actually think that's another good thing that has sort of come out of all of this. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're coming out with a new collection on March 11th with, yes. and can you tell me a little bit about that? As I take a swig of my Pellegrino. Actually, it's vodka. I just put it in here. Um, um, yes, I'm really excited about it. It is David David Meister for HSN. It's a lifestyle collection. So it includes everything from sweaters and tops and pants and skirts and dresses and jackets. And But what's really great about it is I've kind of taken everything I've learned over through my design career and put a line together. Everything is under a hundred dollars. So it's very accessible. Um, you know, and I always like to say it's modern and it's on trend, but not trendy. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely size inclusive. It's, we go from an extra small to a three XL. And, you know, I always tell people too, I have dressed women for the red carpet from like triple zero to a size 26. And everybody can look really good and look great. It's just knowing what works for you, but also, you know, you have to feel confident and own it because that's a big part of it. Because you can have even, you know, a model, if a model even, if she doesn't feel right or good in something, she doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. So, and so yes, we're launching March 11. And you know, the other thing I would say, because people say, what was your inspiration? And, you know, it was a lot of different things. We we'll always have jersey and knits and stretch and prints, which are kind of my signatures. But my biggest thing I would say was a smile. Because, especially now, if you put something on and you feel good and you look at you smile. Mm -hmm. 
And for me too, when I'm looking at something, even if I'm looking at it in the hangar, I want to smile or I want a reason that I want to put this on because I think that's what we need right now. I mean, we're not, I'm not, we're not doing brain surgery and fashion is not going to save lives, but it can make you feel good about yourself. And that gives you more confidence to go out and do whatever you're doing in the world. So to me, the big thing is I think clothing has to be fun. It has to have, it's got to be functional because really now it's like, it's got to be able to go from the couch to cocktails. It used to be desk to dinner. Now it's from couch to cocktails. Mm-hmm. Um, and, but it's got to be fun. But to, the biggest thing is you got to smile and feel good. Absolutely. That's my, that's kind of my mantra at the moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. Well, congratulations. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I think it's going to be great. To whip out my credit card and get some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> my shopping addiction. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I what since this, I mean, I love to shop. I have not shopped nearly as much, obviously, because where have I gone? My biggest yeah. joke is in the last year, I probably had pants with a zipper on five times because yeah. I wear, <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. So, yeah, yeah. And I have, I shopped way more online than I ever have. And I actually have learned to like that too. I mean, I'm just doing things that I, cause I'm one of those people that used to always want to touch and feel and go to the stores, but that wasn't an option. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know, I think it's been a growing experience for everybody in different ways. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Where can people mm-hmm. find you on socials? Well, hsn.com is where you'll be able to find the line um david underscore meister check out my instagram and i am on twitter and facebook and do you know i don't know the account names it's okay they'll find you they'll find me um definitely david underscore meister instagram hsn.com and you know twitter facebook but check it out i think um I think you'll really enjoy the line. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations again. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You were great. Thank you.